without a doubt, the device that's really put electronic books on the map is Amazon's Kindle. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably at least a little intrigued by the possibility of having a good, solid, hands-free book holder for it. After all, a lot of people just don't want to have to hold the book up the entire time they read. Of course, the Kindle is a little expensive. It's a little fragile. You do not want to drop this thing. That's an expensive repair bill. And your book holder should be able to hold it very firmly without damaging it, of course. Well, the Book Gem is just perfect for this. It's originally designed as a small, compact book holder that's very effective for regular old dead tree paper books. But the same patented features that make it great for that translate beautifully to the Kindle. In fact, you'd think it was made just for this electronic book. Now let's take a little closer look at exactly how this works. We're just going to open this little door with a label on it, spread the page clips, and drop the Kindle into the book holder. Now these page clips have nice soft little rubber tips, so you're not going to mar the surface of your Kindle. Now to set it up at a upright angle, we'll just open the rear legs and set it down. Now note how the page clips are perfectly spaced and all the keys and buttons are comfortably accessible. This is a second generation Kindle 2, but note that this is just as true for the first generation and for the larger Kindle DX as well. Now the book gem is reversible. If you want a lower reading angle, a little more inclined, you just clip it to the top of the book or the Kindle. And then you get a nice low reading angle. If you have one of the leather covers or some other protective case for your Kindle, chances are it will work just perfectly with the book gem with the cover in place. This is uh, the original Amazon brand leather cover. Now we'll just fold it all the way over and insert it into the book gem as usual. Now if you're packing up to go, here's a little trick. Just close the cover and clip the book gem across here. This way the cover can't come open and you're not going to lose your book gem. Kindle has a battery that can last for a week or maybe more, but eventually you'll want to charge it up or connect it to the USB port to your computer. Now the USB port charger is right under here and it appears that the door is in the way. Well, I'll tell you what, this door is really made for dead tree books with pages, paper pages. It makes it easier to turn the page with one hand while you lift up the page clip with the other. In short, we don't really need it for an electronic book where you're just going to push a button. So this can be removed and set aside. Now there's a hinge on each side and it can be put back and taken off. We're just going to lift up, cover slightly, pull out the right side hinge, and slide it off. Set it aside, don't lose it. If you want to go back to reading old books, it comes in handy. Anyway, we can just then go ahead and set the Kindle in as usual. Take the charger with the port now exposed nicely and plug it right in. And there you have it. You can read while charging your Kindle. Now I just have to mention that reading in bed is pretty great with the book gem and we didn't get a shot of it here with the Kindle but it's pretty much just as comfy propped up on a pillow like this as it is with regular old books. Finally I'll just say that although the book gem is serendipitously really perfect for the Kindle unlike other cradles or other adapters that are meant just for one device or one purpose this works brilliantly for all kinds of regular books, the Kindle, other kinds of ebooks like the new Barnes & Noble Nook and the Sony readers and it will most likely work with nearly any kind of future electronic computer or internet tablet as well. Mm -hmm.